Today we're going to check out how to make this blazing fire text effect here in Photoshop. By the way, this text is just random letters, so don't get me wrong. So anyways, let's do this. I'm going to go with this artboard size. And for the font, I chose the Akira Expanded Super Bold. Now let's go to the filter, blur. Let's select Gaussian blur. Click on convert to smart object. I'm going to go with four. Click OK. Let's go to filter again. Go to noise, select median. I'm going to go with 10. Click OK, and now let's go to Filter again, go to Blur Gallery and select Tilt Shift. Now check this out, if I bring these lines in and I increase this dial even more, it is going to create these blurry effects, but I'm going to need to bring these lines even more in. So the endings of the letters are blurred out. I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom one and something like this. Click OK. I'm going to press Ctrl J to duplicate this and I'm going to uncheck the bottom one. Let's select the first one and I'm going to right click on convert a smart object and we're going to need to stretch these blurry effects out. So I'm going to select the marquee tool. I'm going to select this area and go all the way to the ending of the letter where the blur is ending basically somewhere around here and then press Ctrl T, press and hold shift and just stretch it out. I'm going to stretch it all the way, something like this. Double click release, scroll in, press Ctrl D to deselect. And I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. And if I zoom in, you can see these lines going on, which I don't want. So we're going to need to remove some of the parts. Let's go to the layers, go all the way down and click on the mask button. So now it's masked and make sure that you click on the mask thumbnail. Now let's go and select the brush tool. Make sure that you're on the black. And now I'm going to go here, click. And check this out, it's basically removed some of the parts. Now press and hold shift and go all the way to the opposite direction and click again and it removed this line. I'm going to do the same thing, click, press and hold shift, go into the opposite direction, click again and it deleted. And now I'm going to delete the letters just like that. Now take in mind that we got the first layer here, I'm going to activate it. And now we're going to need to melt these lines together. So I'm going to select the mask here, click on the mask. And I'm going to go to the colors and swap it so the white is going to be on the top. Now let's select the brush tool and I'm going to go here and check this out. This is basically going to put back the deleted areas. Now make sure that you don't put everything back so the line is going to be visible. I'm just going to put back some of the areas so we avoid the lines as much as possible. Now in some areas is still going to be visible but mainly is going to do the job. So the problem was that I did delete too much from the top area so that's why it's more harder to recolor it back but as you can see here we don't delete it that much and it works pretty nicely and the line is also not visible. And after you are done let's go to the adjustments, scroll down, select the gradient map, click on it and I'm going to pull the white to the center Select the black, press and hold alt to drag it to the opposite direction to create a new copy, click to release. And I'm going to click here, add a red, click OK. I'm going to go on, I'm going to add a yellow, click OK. And in the opposite direction, I'm going to go with cyan and blue and another one. There you go. Click OK and pretty much this is it. Thanks for watching.